Deuteronomy 11. This is um, love and obedience rewarded. It is the whole like Deuteronomy 11. So it's not like chapter 10 where it was the second pair of the tablets and then like the essence of the law. It's not like broken up. This is literally the whole thing. So let's get into it. First of all, I need my little pointy stick. Okay. Love and obedience rewarded Deuteronomy 11. It says, therefore, you shall love your God. Therefore, you shall love your Lord, your God, and keep his charge, his statutes, his judgment, and his commandments always. Know today that I do not speak with your children who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God, his greatness and his mighty hand and his outstretched arms, his sight and his act, which he did in the midst of the Egypt, to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to, the land, and to all his land. What he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses and their chariots, how he made the waters of the Red Sea overflow them as they pursued you, and how the Lord has destroyed them to this day. What he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what he did to Danith and A Abram, 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 the sons of Elam and the son of Reuben. How the earth opened its mouth and swallowed the swallowed them up, their households, their tents, and all the substances that was in their possession in the midst of the in the midst of Israel. But your eyes have seen great acts of the Lord which he did. Therefore you shall keep every commandment which I command you today, that you may be strong and go in and possess the land which you cross over to possess. And that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore to give your father to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt, from which you have come, where you have sowed your seeds and watered it by foot as a vegetable garden. Now, before I go on, if you hear Beans whining, he's in doggy jail for the moment. He's, he's a puppy. So, okay, <clears throat> verse 11, but the land which you cross over to possess is a land, is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rains of heaven, a land for which the Lord, your God cares, cares. The eyes of the Lord, your God are always on it from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. So all the time, and he's always caring for it. And it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today to love the Lord, your God and serve him with all of your heart and with all your soul, then I will give you the rain for your land in its season. And the early, let me read it again because I yawned 14. Then I will give you the rain of your land in its season the early rain and the latter rain and you may gather you may gather your grain your new wine and your oil and i will send grass in your fields for your livestock that you may eat and be filled take heed to yourself lest your heart be deceived and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them least least the lord's anger be aroused against you and he shuts up the heavens so that there is no rain that the land yield no produce, and you perish quickly from the good land which the Lord is giving you. Therefore, you shall lay up the, these words of the. Therefore, you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and bind them as a sign of your hand, and they shall be as frontless, as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children. Speaking of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way, when you, when you lie down and when you rise up and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land 
which the Lord swore to your fathers to give them like the days of the heavens above the earth. For if you certainly care, except for if, 22, for if you carefully keep all the commandments which I command you to do, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to hold fast to him, then the Lord will drive out all these nations from before you, and you will despair. You will dispossess great and mighty nations than yourself. Every place on which your every place on which the sole of your foot treads shall be yours. From the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river of Euphrates, even to the western sea, shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand against you. The Lord your God will put the dread of you and the fear of you upon all the land where you tread. Just as he has said to you, Behold, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today. And the curse if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside from the ways which I command you today to go after other gods which you have not known. Now it shall be when the Lord your God has brought you into the land which you go to possess that you shall be that you, that you shall put the blessings on Mount uh, Gerizim Gerizim and the curse of Mount Ebal are they not on the other side of the Jordan towards the setting sun and the land of the Canaanites who dwell in the plain op opposite opposite Gilgal besides the beside the tabernacle of Morah for 33 or 31 for you will cross over the Jordan and go and in, go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you and you will possess it and dwell in it and you shall be careful to observe all the statutes and judgments which I set before you today